biggest mistake I tend to see and it tends to be in like the high school uh, weight room sort of setting uh, within high school strength and conditioning programs is that that sort of legacy of football, and I don't even think this is optimal for football, but sort of back squat, hang clean, you know, just sort of the power lifting type stuff, uh, that tends to be just everyone does it, and it's kind of the thing you do. Like, we just want to lift as much weight as we possibly can. And you're like, well, yeah, but last time you did three rep max on the back squat, three guys blew out their low backs. Does this, you know, like, the best players are the ones that are playing, not on the sidelines. So should, maybe we rethink that just a little bit. Um, so as you're looking, excuse me, as you're looking at programming, if you don't see things that are also matching the velocity of the game, like if it's all just slow and just trying to lift heavy and just let's get gains in the weight room, I'm not sure that's the best thing to translate into lacrosse or really any sport. One caveat, which I'll get into a little bit later, is let's say you have a ninth grade boy, you could put him in Zumba class and he'll probably get stronger and he'll get better at lacrosse, right? There's not a whole lot there. He hasn't trained very much. So... I'm not saying this has to be a fire sale either. Like at the very beginning when kids are training, if they have like a zero to six month training age, which means they've barely been training, maybe they went to Lifetime a few times with mom or dad or something like that, anything is going to be beneficial. So if you have nothing, just something is better than nothing, right? And that will, be, that will help your, your program a lot. Once you start getting into the, you know, you guys have been, the kids have been training a little bit, you want to make it obviously a little bit more specific there. And velocity specific is important. Like things should be done uh, fast, which means we, we'll talk about it when we get to speed, but sprints, jumps, et cetera, right? And then when we're lifting, instead of lifting maybe 500 pounds really slow, we might want to be doing more like 200 pounds with a little bit of concentric force. So as they're coming up, they're doing it with some speed.